In this video, I'm doing a gouache study of a pear. Now why? I don't know, because it looked fun. So that's what we're doing. I'm starting off by sketching, and I'm really just kind of eyeballing it. I mean, isn't that what drawing is? Using your eyeballs to eyeball things? I don't know, but yeah, I'm just looking at it and comparing the two pairs to see where I should place each part of it. And I'm looking at it not only as the outline going in, but also as an outline going out, if, if you know what I mean. I don't really know how to explain that well. And then I realized that it was way too small and there's a ton of space on the paper, so I might as well use it. For supplies, I am using the trendy gouaches and along with those random paintbrushes I've accumulated over the years. I don't know where they're from, but they work. Now, my thoughts on the jelly gouaches? They're okay. They get the job done. There's a lot of colors and they're very vibrant. So I'm just starting here and just mixing random colors. I love mixing colors. It's so fun. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I kind of just stick random colors in and hope for the best. And I just find it really enjoyable. And I just mix, I can mix colors for hours. So I'm just blocking out the light areas and the dark areas to begin. And while we're waiting for it to get faster, just a disclaimer, I am not a professional artist. I have been drawing and painting for many years, but the things I say are purely what I know from myself and some YouTube videos here and there. So yeah, take anything I say with a grain of salt. And in general, you really don't have to listen to all these educators online. And on that topic, if you're learning art online, I would really, really recommend you to learn from multiple different teachers. Now, I feel like, especially if you're just learning from short form videos, a lot of the advice you get is very, very repetitive. And I think it's really important to hear multiple different perspectives on certain things. Um, whether that be in life and especially in art, because a lot of the time you'll hear just the same things over and over and over, but you won't get to see things on the other side. Like, I remember when I started learning on YouTube, there were teachers constantly saying, oh, you got to contrast, contrast, you should only choose references that have contrast and things like that. But in the reality, there are so many situations where there isn't so much contrast and then the second you practice that so much, what are you supposed to do? And the second you start learning from different sources, you come to realize that there are a lot of rules that don't apply in every single situation, and I think that that's super important. So, in this painting specifically, I'm trying to focus on soft shadows, and I chose this reference because it does have a very dark shadow, but it's softer, and I wanted to challenge myself because I'm a contrast girly, and I love contrast. And I love painting shadows, but I want to challenge myself. The thing I hate most about painting with gouache and watercolor is waiting for the paint to dry because I have absolutely no patience. Yeah, artist and patience are complete antonyms and I don't know how I do art because I am such an impatient person. When I paint or draw, I have to get up at least every five seconds and I cannot work on a piece for more than two hours, which I think I should try to do one day. Um, I think there are cons to that and pros. I think that in a way it does kind of give me a certain style, a kind of speedy looking style. And I've learned to draw very fast, but fast doesn't always mean good, you know? I think it's interesting to see the difference between artists who draw quickly and who draw slowly, because you can really see kind of the, the way in the process. I feel like I focus a lot more on smooth lines, whereas people who draw slowly focus more on the inner details. I like to kind of look at things as one entity, whereas someone else who draws very slow might look at things in a closer way, which I find really interesting and I would want to try to work on something <laughs> for hours and hours, even though I don't know if I'm mentally capable to do that. Now back to discussing the study. 
something I find interesting is I always feel like I love the middle phase of the painting more than the end result. Like, I really like how the painting looks in this moment right here. Maybe even more than the end result, which happens to me a lot. I'll take pictures of the progress of my paintings a lot of the times and I'll look back and really like the middle result. I'll show you an example of something I recently painted here. I don't know. I just really like the kind of quick sketch type of early stages of the painting. It's kind of like when you see those unfinished paintings of, you know, great masters. It's just really cool to see. Now I'm really trying to find the inner color of these pairs, you know? Have you ever seen that girl? I don't know what her name is on Instagram, who paints those insane paintings where she just really pushes the colors as far as she can and I love those and I've tried so hard to do that that it changed the way I look at things you know I'll just look at a fork and try so hard to kind of up the saturation in my head and find all the colors and I just find it so cool and it really helped me in my own art now you see me explaining things with my little palette knife over there these clips originally, I was talking in them, but I looked back and I sounded like I was trying to teach and I realized I really don't have enough credibility for that. And also everything I said didn't really make much sense. So I decided I'll just do a new voiceover and just talk about random things that come up and every so often go back to the painting. You see right there, me pointing at it. I don't even know what I was talking about at this point. Now I want to talk about something totally unrelated. It is art related, but unrelated. I have a lot of opinions and I always wanted to make a channel like this where I paint a doc because I have a lot of opinions about art and the online community which I'm not really a part of anymore for many reasons. One of them being the whole art style thing. Everybody's obsessed with the art style, the art style, the art style. Listen, I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You can't force yourself to draw a certain way. And what I've found is the more I worked on my art and continued to evolve as an artist, I found my art style. It just came to me. I didn't I didn't look for it, it just it just came. At this point I look at my style and I'm like, how did I even get there? I'll tell you the biggest tip I can give. You know what, I'll just put up a, a few pictures of my more cartoon drawings. And on that topic, if you want to see something totally different from me, you can go on Webtoon and read my comic Band Kids. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I just did a lot of studies of other artists and other comic artists that I liked and it just kind of came to me. And I think that it's okay to not have an art style. I can paint like this, I can draw cartoons, I do all sorts of things and it's fun. But if you enjoy that type of thing, go ahead and look for your art style. Back to the study. I probably could have stopped here. It doesn't look half bad. Even though the shadow- why is there like a paw over there? I really don't know what I did there. But anyway, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with the shadows. Uh, honestly the stem, it's not the right shape. There are a lot of problems with this, yeah. But once again, it's more just for my practice and for fun. So I'm adding little details here. I'm not a detail girl. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. One big problem I did not address is the angle of the table. It is completely wrong. But I decided actively to not do anything about that. And so I didn't. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I did anything else except add a signature. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't really like it to be honest. No, I don't really like it. It's okay. I don't know, when you're an artist, you can't really tell if what you made was good or not. I, don't... I really don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Actually, don't because then I'm gonna be annoyed if you don't like it. <laughs> 
but yeah thanks for watching go read my comic it'll be in the description see ya